Hi guys, Todd here. Uh, you'll have to excuse the strange camera angle. Um, my new PC arrived today and uh, you can actually see TJ as well now. What are you up to? Um, and I've kind of like got a big monitor here and where my, my camera usually sits on top of the laptop screen uh, but the monitor's that big that this is the only place I could put the camera until I figure something else out. So, uh, this might be a regular thing, see what folks say, or uh, we'll get back to what we had before. I'll have to put the camera somewhere else. Today, we're going to be looking at this behemoth, this monster. Uh, what are they calling this? This is it's a, a VV. It's a variable voltage, variable wattage mod. Uh, they're just calling it a VV mod. But, uh, you know, it does operate in variable voltage and wattage. Uh, it goes up to 12 watts. Maximum output of 12 watts and 6 volts. Uh, it takes an 18650 battery. This is being sold by UK eSig store. And it's called the X-Gun as in um, this thing's just freaking huge <laughs> listen the it's X for I've reviewed a couple of their mods in the past and it's no secret I love this see this design this wood engraving and whatnot I absolutely love it the actual look of this mod does it for me it's quirky as hell, it's out there, it's different, and yeah, brilliant. However, underneath all the fancy looks, and <laughs> no, underneath all the fancy looks, um, there's electronics in there, and there, uh, well, We'll get into the nitty gritty. This is £60 and it comes in a nice little box and, and that's it. Uh, I'm at 12 watts just now. I'm on an Expromiser. Expromiser. Uh, and with, I've no idea what drip tip this is. Uh, Brian, uh, one of the guys I know, sent it on. So thanks, Brian. We'll have a veep. That's a 1.1 ohm coil I've got in this. I've had a 0 0.8 ohm coil running in this. It, okay, it might not be operating at a full 12 watts or putting out 6 volts, but you know, it performs not bad. It performs not bad at all. Um, there's no rattlesnake noise coming from it either, and it's not buzzing away, there's no delay when I push the button, nothing like that. Uh, it's a good performer. It does perform well. What I'll do is I'll shift the camera, see if I can reach it, and uh, <laughs> and I'll take the boy out for a little jaunt, and uh, we'll come back and uh, have a look at this. Cheers. So here we go with the X gun. I'm just gonna I'm gonna rotate this and just let you see the engravings here. look the texture on it is just it's exquisite it really is um, you see you've got X gun written on there we've got a little display window here which is quite cute uh, we have this big I'm sure it's brass uh, this big brass cap here you've got eagle cone threading there uh, we have, we'll just double check this, a non-adjustable post on the top there. So, we'll see what we can get to sit flush. The thing is, I think this must be about 25mm in diameter. 
Sorry, I take that back. It's more like 27 millimeters in diameter. Uh, it's just huge, and the overall length is 137 millimeters. And as I said, it takes 18650 batteries. Brass contacts here. I'm running a MKNE. Uh, there's contacts up the top there. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Sorry. Uh, it's all brass threading. The threading's just absolutely, you know, it's great. It's a, a chunky son of a gun and it just, you know, it's actually really nice to vape with. Uh, now, in saying that, it does have some issues. I'll just put this battery back in. Right. Right, so here we go. Now, this is one of the annoying things. Uh, one, two, three. So we've got power up. It goes by twice. Yes, it's that dreaded menu. Uh, round robins from 3 watts, well, whether it does 3 watts is another thing, uh, to 12 watts. I'll let it go, leave it alone, and that's you. And you can change what gets shown when uh, you push the button as well. 1, 2, 3. There we go. We can go power down. Vaping on or off. So vaping's on. If I wanted to, this waiting on the screen going by is just a major pain in the. Vaping off, vaping on, so I can switch between the two. Power up. Power down, vaping on or off. Battery voltage left, or battery voltage state, I should say, is at 4.1 right now. LCD display. Wait till it goes by so I can display the voltage, the resistance, or the battery. We'll have the resistance. So when I push the button, 9.9 because .9 there's nothing attached. LCD on or off, PV, switch between power and voltage, or wattage and voltage I should say. So it's at power just now and I'll leave it at power. And that's it. That's all your settings. So just to give you a close-up look here, I mean the button is nice and clicky. So I just did five quick, five quick clicks there. Switched it off. Switch it back on again. There we go. Just show you that. I'm sorry about the lighting. And yes, it is ventilated at the bottom. Yes, it's a chart. Don't panic. Uh, problem was, when I went to the website, well, what happened is I posted the video. I always post the videos up in my own forum before it goes public. It's great because I get good feedback and basically they kick me into touch, tell me what I'm missing and call me an idiot. Uh, what was pointed out was, according to the website, the maximum current output for this device is 2.5 amps. Um, <laughs> which was pretty low, and even though I'm finding that it seems to be performing okay, if you look at the chart here, I mean, you've got the blue bars, are, I tried it at 3 volts, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, five and, and 6 volts. Red is, I was using a 2.2 ohm Carto, and I was also using a 1.1 ohm device, which was a K-Fun Lite. 
and firing at 3 volts, you see it handles it no problem, 3.5 volts, no problem. When you get to 4 volts, you can see that the 1.1 ohm device, it really starts dropping, uh, and it doesn't really get any higher than 3.5, 3.6 volts. That seems to be its maximum on a 1.1 ohm coil, which does correspond, which really does mean that it's a 2.5 amp switch. And whilst uh, I was able to get it to fire a 0.8 ohm coil, uh, voltage-wise, it's never going to go any higher than 3.6, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, it does have short circuit protection, uh, reverse battery protection circuit, and uh, yeah, all the usual kind of stuff. I've not tried stacking batteries, uh, just putting straight 18650 in there. And, and that's really it. So there we go. My first chart, uh, but not a patch in Mr. B's. I'm currently got a, a, a nano a quartz kit on a K fun. This is one ohm, and I'm vaping at 10 watts. You know, it's, this performs really well. Um, the menu system is that double scroll thing, you know, going by twice, is a pain in the backside. Uh, it doesn't really bug me that much because, to be honest, I use variable wattage most of the time. Once it's set, you know, you just leave it and you don't have to really touch it again. Um, the main thing is, and the biggest drawback on it, or the, my major quibble with it is, the screen is really dim. You can't see it in daylight. Bright sunlight, forget it. You can't. You have to put your hand over the the display to see what it's saying because it's quite a dim readout. Um, the fact that it's the size it is, and I know that it's, you know, it, just inside here it's going to be whatever mod it is or whatever internals and they've just put this wooden sleeve over the top and given it some nice end caps. Uh, it, this is going to be a Marmite mod. You either like the look of it or you hate it. If you like the look of it, I, do, I don't think for £60, 60 pound, do you know, 12 watts, is it doing anything that, you know, say a VAMO or anything like that could do for next to nothing? Nah, not really. But, you are getting a beautiful looking mod. Um, I really do think it's beautiful. But that's my personal taste. Um, and I'm a weirdo. Uh, do you know, there's a th thing I was meant to come back to. I mean, that's a K fun on it. And, you know, it's sitting nice and flush there. So if it sits flush with a K fun, you shouldn't have much problems with anything else. Uh, I'll see if I've got anything else here. There it is with a... <laughs> that's a little steam machine dripper. 12 watts. This performs really well. This really does perform well. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't have the whole rattlesnake thing going on as well uh, is just an added bonus as far as I'm concerned. That's a 0 0.8 ohm coil at 12 watts and you know it's working away quite the thing. I wish I knew what electronics were inside this because it performed really well in my opinion. Um, listen, there's not a lot else I can say about this. And I'm going to stop there because I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable with this whole camera angle thing. And I realise I look like a total scruff. Um, do you know, at the end of the day, as I said, if you like the look, I don't think you would dis be disappointed with the performance. The only issue I have is 
that really dim screen and the fact that it, the scrolling twice thing before you can get in to make a menu choice. Kind of minor. Well, screen brightness isn't minor. Anyway, you know, I've told you. <laughs> My duty is done here. Just like to thank the guys, as always, at UK eSig Store for sending this on. And, uh, and to you for putting up with this silly camera angle. Um, I, I don't think I've ever felt so uncomfortable doing a review. Uh, I will need to sort this out toot sweet. Uh, but guys, as always, thank you for watching and listening. And... Uh, you know, any questions go along to my Facebook page, uh, post on my web page, or, you know, get in touch with UK ESIG store if you have any questions, and that's it from me. We'll catch up with you soon. All the best now. Bye.